Hey folks, as you can see, we're doing some winter camping without a sleeping bag. We're only staying in buffalo furs and we're cooking some delicious food. So come along as we go on another adventure on the Old North Trail. Hey everyone, so thankfully, let's see, gotta change that. Hey everyone, uh, it's warmed up to minus eight, so we're just at the trailhead or whatever. Gonna get some coveralls on and uh, I guess start bringing stuff over to our camping spot, which we still have to find. Since we're gonna be moving around, I just select a, for a sweater and a vest right now. So we're just trying to find a flat spot. Something that we could kind of be protected a little bit, if that makes any kind of sense. <sighs> nothing, nothing too perfect, but something just wide enough. I think we found the spot. Well, mostly got camp set up. I think it's like zero degrees right now. It's not, I can't feel it because I've been moving this entire time. I'll have to switch, change out of my shirt because I know I sweat a little bit. But um, I'm gonna bring in my buffalo robes and then um, go get some wood before uh, we lose the sunlight and then after that, hopefully we can get some dinner going. I think we're gonna cook some steaks and maybe it's potato soup, something hearty. All right, come along guys. Out of work.
And I ever use a bow saw. I'm reminded of my grandfather's dad, Joe. I don't know, it must have been in the 30s, 40s, I think. Um, they would, uh, he would, I guess, get most of his winter supply of wood using a bow saw. Of course, nowadays you have a chainsaw. I use a chainsaw. I get maybe six, six loads, cords of wood using a chainsaw. I uh, couldn't imagine. I think he uses a lot of diamond willow and probably cottonwood along the, the river bottom mostly. But still, I mean, pretty impressive. Well, there it is. Got a fire going. Thank goodness. Getting pretty hungry. Cold weather, you sure burn a lot of calories. I'm trying to stay warm and I'm pretty thirsty too. I haven't been hydrating, so I'm gonna go ahead and do that. Throw some uh, these potatoes in. Maybe we'll put the rest of this for breakfast in the morning. And then if you guys ever had this, this one's pretty good. It's better than bullion. That should be good. Looking pretty good. But, um, I don't know, I'm pretty excited to try this out. There we go.
Throw some butter on there. Throw a bit of onion. Well, it looks like the potatoes are done. I'm going to take those off, put them in a plate, and then I'll throw the steaks on. Well, let's see, there we go. Uh, there we go, it's a little better. Got dinner made. Some steak and potatoes. Let's see if I could do that a little better. There we go, we'll see how it cuts. Let's check it out. Not too bad. Hell, a little bit of red in there. Some of our delicious potato soup. Pretty hot. Oh. Nothing like kicking back and Eating some warm food. Oh, it tastes so good. I don't think I ate since like noon. Yeah, I'm so tired. Well, time for bed. Had a great day. Super tired. Sleeping on one buffalo robe, covering up with one and maybe two. We'll see how it goes. It's not too bad right now, but that's, of course, the fire's going. Pretty tired. Looks pretty good to lay down. Nod off a little bit. Well, thanks for coming along, guys. We'll see you in the morning and see what tomorrow brings. Well, good morning. I slept all right. Di uh, fire died out about 3 a.m., but I was pretty comfortable. I didn't have to restart it. Um, the only thing that worried me was sleeping on a cot, um, having the cold air come up and getting my back cold, but I slept on a buffalo robe and that helped quite a bit. Um, it's really comfortable too. And then I covered with one robe and then another and kept my heat pretty good all night. The only thing I'd say is my feet got cold, but it's because I'm a little longer and my feet kept poking out at the bottom. Um, not a huge issue. Just tucked them back up and fell back to sleep whenever that happened. Overall, I'd say it was a pretty good night, successful. Um, I guess I'm ready to move around. I kind of laid in a little bit this morning for the sun to come up a little bit. Well, well, it's not really out, but you know, a little lighter anyway. And I think I'm going to go ahead and start packing up and making a breakfast and cook a fire or start a fire. Oh, still tired. Start a fire and cook some breakfast.
about one out of three ain't bad. Well, try it. We're getting scrambled today. <laughs> Well, not a bad breakfast, I suppose. Some scramby eggs, bacon, and red skin potatoes fried and bacon fat. It's been a long, I think it's been a long morning for some reason. I was just moving really slow. Yeah, we started off with some eggs over easy, but as you can see, it uh, turned into scramble eggs, you know. That's all right. This is a really good meal. Which is, he used the last of my wood to basically book, make us breakfast. I'll probably start taking down camp start making trips to the truck with my sled let the stove cool off be the last thing I get dump the ashes you know all that good stuff the only thing I heard last night it was like a weird flapping sound on on this wall tent I don't know what it was I thought it was uh only thing I was afraid of was a moose coming up on me or something you know but yeah I was that was the only thing, you know, some weird flapping that landed on top and I don't know. I just, I usually sleep through most things anyway. So I just fell back asleep and about three o'clock when I woke up, the fire was out, was pretty dead silent out. So I assumed it was safe. Well, hunger guy. It warmed up to about, I think it's must be in the teens right now, maybe 12, 13 degrees or something like that. That was uh, superb. Well, folks, that wraps up that adventure. Hopefully you guys will be on the next one. I think I'm getting out of here just in time. Snow's starting to come down a little bit. Well, we'll see you guys soon. <laughs>